What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Teenage Bricks are here, breaking it down with another mini figure Friday. Today we have all the way back from the original Yellow Castle set, the first, sorry, ever Lego Castle released. 375 The Yellow Castle. The original, according to the official Lego dictionary, Plumed Helmet Knight. Yeah, that's the name of this guy, the Plumed Helmet Knight. Or as I like to just call him, the Yellow Castle Crown Knight. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is a really fun minifigure from way back when. Um, pretty hard to come by minifigure. I actually have a very incomplete yellow castle that I want to try and complete at some point eventually here. Um, so I just pulled one of the minifigures out. Thought I'd do them for the second figure Friday, because why not? It's a really cool figure here. So let's get into the minifigure, of course. So obviously, um, th this minifigure uses this classic knight plume piece, which is only in like three or four sets. It's pretty uncommon, and it actually goes on the old space helmet. So if you've ever wondered why there's the little tiny indents on the side of classic space helmets, that's why right there. Um, and they didn't use it in much stuff at all, just these things. So I w almost wonder if they originally planned to have visors on classic space astronauts, but they didn't. Um, and then they only used the holes for these. Yeah, it's a really cool piece. Um, it's actually a slightly different plastic, too, it seems, because it's a little bit different coloring than the helmet, at least. Um, but yeah, it hinges just like that. And now you have your basic smiley face under there. So yeah, it's a very nice helmet piece. I love that. And then, of course, the gray helmet. Very popular and expensive now with the Series 16 Rocket Boy and the classic gray space torso. Because a lot of people want these to make classic gray spacemen. Um, then he has the neck piece, which is like a little sandwich board that has a sticker on either side to create that, um, night, uh, the, to put the emblem on his torso. Because they didn't have, um, printed torsos yet really early on in the 70s, like, if you get some classic, classic, classic spacemen, they'll actually have stickers on their torsos instead, and the original policeman minifigure, the first minifigure ever, he was a stickered torso. So these guys didn't even put stickers on the torsos to give them the armor effect to make it look like they had some armor on there. They just wrapped, sandwich boarded it on and then put the sticker on it, which looks really nice. And then you got the shield, too, with a similar sticker, um, just a plain gray shield with the crown sticker on the front, pink, pink yellow crown, looks good, and then he's got a lance. So we can poke bad guys, because cause it's fun. And yeah, this is a really nice uh, minifigure from the Yellow Castle. I think it's a really fun figure. And it, it's, it's kind of hard to come by, but it looks really cool. So if you ever had, have a chance to get one of these classic original Yellow Castle knights, I'd say jump on it, because they're really fun minifigures. And this is one of four factions that comes in that set, too, in case you were wondering. Um, there's the Crown Knights that defend it, and then there's three other factions that are like coming to visit or something. And yeah, yeah that, that's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next Figure Friday, Teenage Brickster, over and out.